Well, Bob, I don't know if I'm correct on this, but it seems like it has gotten a little bit cooler earlier than it did last year. It has. Uh, the thing is, it's, it's kind of strange is we're having the water fest in Inglewood, right? right? They had a cold front move through uh, after the races were over. Mm -hmm. This one may move uh, in before the races start. So okay. cold fronts come down. This is periodically uh, the time of year that they come down every few uh, mm -hmm. few days, really, at times. Yeah. And that's kind of a good thing, too. It keeps tropical systems away from okay. us uh, during this the latter half of uh, November. Uh, the Man Ways of Webcam showing a nice day out there this afternoon, especially lots of sunshine around. Just a few clouds now and again. And we are anticipating uh, again, a nice night tonight, overnight, We're looking at lows tomorrow morning to start your day in the 50s in most places, and uh, that is welcome. Uh, we are looking at uh, some great photos, too, earlier today. Get a look at this. This alligator knows where to park right there by the sign. Now, this is from Lake Venice. Sal sending this one in the Lake Venice golf course, that is, and you can see a pretty good-sized gator right there just chilling out, uh, probably getting some sun during the cooler part of the day and this uh, from Paul Taylor as the sun was winding down on a siesta key a beautiful shot there with some alto cumulus clouds in the uh, distance there and we also had a nice shot of the moon although not super it was pretty close to it 97 percent and uh, Jerry sending this one in appreciate that I tell you what we are looking at uh, some clouds and some heavy rainfall down to our south in the Florida Straits associated with that front it brought us a little bit of rainfall earlier today but not much uh, for the most part we're not anticipating any rain at all as a result of some dry air over the next several days. And in fact, the next cold front that does push on through late Saturday, early Sunday morning, looks like it will uh, not produce any rainfall because the air just will be too dry out ahead of it. But some heavy showers uh, near Key Largo and also near Fort Lauderdale, some moderate rainfall there. It's all winding down, though, as that cold front continues to push to the southeast. Dew points are low and the winds are light. And pressure is going up at 29.96 inches under clear skies. The high today finally below average, something we haven't been able to say pretty much all fall and uh, 62 was the morning low. 88 is the record high set in 1993. No rainfall in most areas, although we had one one hundredth of an inch of rain reported at the Sarasota Braden Airport and we're still about an inch below average. Uh, statewide temperatures in the 50s and especially in Jacksonville is pretty chilly there at 50 degrees. Uh, 59 in Orlando, 70 in Miami, and 74 in Key West. Temperatures around town, a bit cooler inland areas. of 50s there in Mayaca City, Arcadia, Northport, and Punta Gorda. 62 in Cortez, Braden, you're at 59, 63 in Venice, and Inglewood at 64 degrees. Tomorrow looks beautiful, outstanding, great weather. Lots of sunshine around, temperatures warming into the upper 70s, but the humidity will stay low. And looks as though we'll see uh, similar conditions again on Thursday, maybe a little bit warmer. The cold front will bring a uh, chill in the air, though, and jackets and sweaters more than likely will be required on Sunday in some places, especially on Monday morning. That wind will stay out of the north, and then in the tropics, we're watching this area of disturbed weather down to our south right now. Uh, indications are that this will develop into a tropical uh, system right now, not doing all that uh, well as far as the uh, satellite imagery goes. It's an 80% chance of developing the next five days. If it does develop, it looks like it kind of spins out there in the southwestern portion of the Caribbean, not having an impact on us. Temperatures 30s and 40s over the northeast. Uh, Indianapolis now at uh, 44 degrees. And northeast winds start off a bit brisk tomorrow. Seas uh, 2 to 3 feet and tides up coming 1156 for the next high tide. Tonight turning cooler, mostly fair, chilly 55 for low tomorrow. Mostly sunny, mild 78 for your high and the extended forecast. Looks good for the Waterfest Friday for the big block party. Not a problem at all. Saturday looks good, a bit breezy and the waves could be up on Sunday.